to a bar, ask for, ask for a glass of water. The barman gets a big rifle. Okay, big rifle. I, I, I will tell the story anyway. Rifle, points it at her. She says thank you and walks away. Why? Well, she has the hiccups and <laughs> makes her. <gasps> Uh, <laughs> not yet, not yet. <laughs> yeah, can we? Good job. Okay, okay. Hi, I'm Wendy. Um, Hi, Wendy. <laughs> I do some marketing and, well, I think it's easy because Pearl is awesome. And I will tell you what I do, uh, why I do it, um, why, a, uh, mark uh, why Pearl is awesome. Um, and questions are welcome. Um, you know the, the phrase, we suck at marketing, and little princess, ah, come on, that's not true anymore, it's so old. We are really good at marketing. Um, we are not overly visible, flashy, or hip. Um, so, why do I do marketing for Pearl? Well, I've got Pearl a lot to thank for. In 1994, uh, I started earning money with Pearl, and at some point that was a lot of money. Uh, this was the name of our company, uh, Liz and I. We started building websites. We were the first in the, in the Netherlands building websites with, and we used a lot of Perl. So I did small scripts, I did cron jobs. Uh, I, sometimes I did some heavier programming with databases, but Liz was the, the uber nerd of the two of us. And, uh, that made me, at some point, doing all the other stuff that she didn't do. Uh, general manager, finance, taxes, human resources, project management, blah, 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 shopping, advertisement, cleaning, help desk, wow, oh man. Anyway, Liz didn't want to do it, somebody had to do it, so I did it. Uh, it made us earn a lot of money, and Pearl was that, was the reason for that, and we want to do something back, and we are doing that. Uh, this is why I think Pearl is awesome, the main reason. There's a lot of reasons there and etc 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 that's pages and pages and pages more why pearl is awesome yeah that's a lot will it sink in good i know that pearl is have being used heavily in a lot of fields of industry and uh, government and i think even the nsa is using pearl a lot anyway I do my bit. Uh, I don't blog often. I don't code. I don't have any projects. There's not a single module for me on CPAN. If you look for me, you will maybe find uh, a YAF, just another Pearl hacker somewhere thing. Um, for me, marketing, it's mostly being there. <coughs> oh, by the way, that was the Amsterdam ex Pearl mongers, one of the meetings that I've been at. I, I gave a talk there as well. Um, I think by being there year after year, I have a positive effect. People get used to me, people talk to me, people listen to me, and people are nice about Pearl when, you, they, when they get used to you. <coughs> and when we all be there all the time, we will all have a positive effect, I think. Um, this is Fosdam in Brussels. So I'm there next to Sawyer. And that's uh, Amalia from Kluge PM, and there's uh, Laura from France. So this is international. Um, well, you can do more than just be there. You can talk and listen. You can write and read, present and watch. You can ask and answer, etc., etc. It all helps. When you're online, and somebody asks a pull que question, you notice that nobody answers. You do that, because if you don't, don't do it, probably nobody does it. And that's an unanswered pull question, which is bad for us all. Um, you are somewhere, and somebody says, oh, Pearl, Pearl is dead. You reply, Pearl is very much alive, thank you. Well, please make it wittier than I am. Um, you see an announcement of a Pearl event somewhere, and well, you, you will share it. On your Facebook page, you will Twitter about it. On your local Pearlmonger mailing list, you blog about it. It might be interesting. Or you will try to get a presentation on the schedule like I did. Yay! 
and you will try to convince your colleagues and fellow Perl mongers to attend there and maybe even get a presentation of their own on the schedule. Um, when you see something strange or negative about Perl, like we've seen earlier today, a presentation about Tiobi, negative stuff about Perl, write about it, tell them why they are wrong, or try to improve the stuff anyway. Uh, you go to uh, Pulmonger meetings, workshops, uh, Yapsies, hackathons, FOSDEM, OSCON, FROSCON, and all those other events that I don't know about yet. You wear a Pearl t-shirt, Pearl buttons, Pearl stickers, yay. Anyway, that's what I do, and my style is guerrilla marketing. Look at them, guerrilla marketing is helpful for yourself, for Pearl, for your company, for your foundation. It's cheap. It's easy, it costs only time, mostly. A little bit of money maybe, but mostly time. This is not what I do. I don't like this. It's too expensive and I doubt that it would be useful for Pearl. I do a, a bit of sponsoring, like when I go to a conference, I pay more than the minimal required amount because I know it would help. Uh, sometimes I pay for drinks and or food. I go I go shopping. It's not necessary here because we have all the nice stuff here. Hmm, a bit too much. Um, anyway, sponsoring makes it affordable for other people. Not all people. People like students with a small budget. You can, your company can be a sponsor too. Um, pay for the drinks at, at dinner or pay for dinner itself. Uh, pay for the admi admission price to get, get it lowered. Uh, if you know that a speaker would like to come but there's no budget for it, or that the speaker doesn't have money for it, maybe you could pay for the speaker. It will be excellent advertisement for your company, believe me. It will shine on you. Like, I paid that Damien Conway would be here. How awesome would that be? Or pay for the con conference t-shirts. I paid for these ones. Um, going to events shows other people that they are not alone. Like one big happy family. Um, I think it's a bit circular. Uh, when more people use Perl, Perl is more visible. Uh, new person, uh, new versions of Perl will be developed. Uh, companies start using Perl or continue to use Perl, and more people will use Perl, and Perl will be more visible. And so we go round and round. Well, that's what I hope. Um, something else about Pearl that's awesome, books, and I love books, and I buy books, and I buy a lot of Pearl books. So that's the library that Liz and I have in our hallway. And I think there should be more books about Pearl 6. So write them, <laughs> write those books, because look, we've got some Pearl books in there. That's three books about Pearl 6 that are so outdated by now by O'Reilly. There's, there's one about from uh, uh, A-Press that's very outdated as well. So <laughs> get more books because that will start the, fish, the, fish, uh, the circle. Anyway, people ask me about those books. Are they for sale? I said, no, 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 I collect them. <laughs> no, I collect them. Forget it. You don't get them. But then I thought, hey, that's a good idea sell Pearl books at a, for a low price, that's nice for the community as well. So I contacted first O'Reilly about selling their books, and now I'm selling their books for a very nice dis discount. They are very nice about that. And a couple of years later I sell books from other publishers for a very nice discount as well. And what I do, sell those books for that discount plus the transport cost that was sent to me. It cost, that, it cost me to get them to my house. Which is cheaper than you get them at the store, which is nice. This is again at Fosdem. Um, Tuwits, Gabor tu uh, Sabo introduced me to Tuwits. Excellent guy, Gabor. This is me in San Antonio, Texas last year, standing in front of the largest wooden nickel. Man, that thing was big, 4 meter 40 high, and I'm only a little bit less than 2 meters, so I felt small, which is nice for a change. Um, in there, they had a museum with wooden nickels, and I felt like Scrooge McDuck. Yay, I'm rich. <laughs> I, so I bought 
Tuits. This is my first batch of Pearl 6 Tuits, full color. The people at Wood, old time wooden nickel company were very happy. Was, this was the first time they made full color wooden nickels. I've made those Tuits, lots of different Tuits, and I just got these in uh, three days ago. So now we have denser to it, modulicious to it, catalyst to it, and P2 to it. For the people who don't know P2, it's Perl 5 plus Perl 6 is Perl 11, 1 plus 1 is 2, P2. It's a project by Reini Urban. And when I see him, I, I will give him those to it. I, will, he, I hope he will be happy with him. Um, buttons. I have a friend who makes buttons. My neighbor and a fellow Perl monger, they make buttons for me. And I think when you wear buttons anywhere, they show your commitment. People will ask, what is that? Well, that's Pearl. What is Pearl? Etc. Etc. Conversation st starter. Uh, my neighbor made these, uh, Pearl 6 buttons, big ones. And then I thought about stickers. And after a bit of a search, I have stickers. You can get them at the desk there. Um, camels, a friend of me, Theo. Uh, told me about very nice camels from Dubai and I had a lot of nice camels. Camels! More camels! Yay! <laughs> but I ordered them before I came here and they are held up at customs. American customs is wondering why um, ch <laughs> Chinese camels come in through Dubai ordered by a Dutch woman, being delivered to an American man. Uh, why the camels? What's wrong with them? But it's stuck in them, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's what they think. I'm quite sure. Every time I ordered, I ordered those camels, the Dutch customs opened the box at least twice. Uh, I'm wondering what American customs is doing to them. My poor camels. Mugs. I love mugs. And no, the company No Starch, they have uh, two different three different pearl books and they also have mugs of pearl. I will um, sell them later today. I've got them up in, in my room. I have a bit of time now to sell mugs. Mugs of pearl. Make your colleagues all, uh, jealous of you that you have this awesome mug. What's on them? There's a pearl cheat sheet on it. Um, back to our library of pearl books. Um, Liz did not want to carry our whole collection of pearl books with her all the time and they are indeed a little bit heavy. Just a ten. So we made roll-up banners of our <laughs> of our book of a library, and roll-up banners of our camel. So next to that, I made some brochures. By now, I've made three. Making brochures is a lot of work. So and I plan to make more brochures. I have these brochures already in a rudimentary form. It's a lot of work to make them nice. That I'm confident that I can hand them out. Well, uh, Mark Keating helped me yesterday to find some more templates and I'm going to use those. So later this year, more brochures. I'm also going to make t-shirts, mugs, and we suck at marketing cards. Well, I'm going to update that we suck at marketing because that's negative. Marketing should be positive. And it's not going to, we don't suck at marketing. It will be something even more positive. Yes. Badly. No, that, that's even. That's <laughs> <laughs> shut up, you. Okay, <laughs> when I'm at a conference like this, I go to all those other companies and I ask for their stuff. So I'm asking for their flyers, pens, stickers, bags, beer mats, cups, and other knickknacks. And most of the time, I get them. And the next year, I will hand them out at all those other events. So they don't have to bring them home, or even we are throw that pearl stuff away. It would be a waste of money to throw pearl stuff away. That's so sad. Um, and uh, your company can have marketing stuff as well. It's damn cheap. It's guerrilla marketing. If you just have something like pants as a company with your logo on it and the name of Pearl, you have two things. You help Pearl, you help your company. You, because those pearl people will hand out your pens or balloons or little animals to other people. That's guerrilla marketing. Um, if you give it to me, I will help you distribute it. I will help you do your marketing. 
So it's very welcome. Give it to me. I will hand it out. Um, like now, I ask for a table at a Yapsi hackathon, Pearlmonger meeting, and I will put all that stuff on there and I'll tell people, come over, take that stuff. Which they do often. Like this. This is again Fosdem. There are stuff from Booking, Tido's, um, Nestoria, Ivozan. There's stuff from six different companies there. So that's what I do for marketing for other people. So help me, join me, and ask me for my stuff and hand it out to your friends and colleagues. Um, this is what I did for the uh, Rus this is for the Russian Pearl workshop that was two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And that's for the very first Bangkok Pearlmonger meeting. You have seen pictures of that earlier today, that Bangkok Pearlmonger meeting. And a friend of me from Brussels went over there and I gave him that. So what can you do for Pearl? You can do what most people do, which is hack, 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 upload your stuff, hack some more. But I like you all to publish. Um, publish press releases, announcements on your website, on your company's website, on your blog, company's blog, on your personal blog, Facebook, Twitter, etc., etc., etc. Publish. Why? Well, don't think that that you don't have to publish because it's just work, because it will help you and your company. It's, don't say other people should publish, I'm bad at it, or, other people are good writers. No, it's practice. If you do it a couple of times, you will get better at it. And don't think that your, that your work is not interesting, because for other people, your work might be very interesting. Because when we all think that way, nobody will know about our work. Nobody will know about Pearl, or all those interesting Pearl projects. A couple of months ago, I learned that the biggest Dutch chain of supermarkets is using Pearl. And how are they using it? All their cash registers are Linux machines, all of them. And on that, they have Perl. All the applications there are written in Perl. They have a team of four Perl programmers, and they make amazing, nicely programs. All the cashiers are working with their apps. I think that's amazing. Like, Perl is not visible? No, they don't know that it's Perl. Um, the Dutch uh, highway information is using Perl as well. And of course, we all know booking, and at the moment, Every night, one million people are sleeping somewhere thanks to booking, thanks to Pearl. So please, publish about your stuff. Don't think it's not interesting because maybe it's not as interesting as this, but it's still interesting. And th these are some people that publish, that blog, that write about it. You might be in there too. Tell me about your name now. I might add your name there for the next presentation. Something that I like very much is jobs.pearl.org. Um, I see all the time companies publishing their job on a mailing list, on the Dutch mailing list, on the London Pearlmonger mailing list. Also publish it on jobs.pearl.org. It's also a little bit of marketing for your company. It, of course, you need to have a job, a job opening for somebody. But if, you, if you're looking for a job, go over there. If you, your company has a job, uh, sorry, if your company has a job, uh, put it there. Um, from that list, by the way, um, Vicky Brasseur made a wonderful list of companies that use Pearl. That's her. Vicky Brasseur, that's, that's the link. The list is really big. There are some pages of that list. Some more pages, and even some more pages. It's really a really big list. This is just something like 10% of the whole list. I was amazed when I saw that. Like, what a work. So that's her. Thank her. Um, you can help to add companies to that list. If you know about companies that are not on that list, please send an email to her or to me and tell about the company. Tell them tell about this stuff. The name of the company, what business type they have. Are they telecom? Are they aerospace? Are they uh, defense? Uh, are they in the food business? Well, place and country of the headquarters, number of total employees, number of people working with Pearl. So we can do some marketing about that. So this company, Pearl. And something else that's awesome, CPAN. 
You've seen this thing from Mark. I stole it from the same source as he did. Um, he didn't show this. I like this one. 7% of the CPAN authors have 100 to 1,000 releases on CPAN. 0.2% of the CPAN authors have over 1,000 releases. What the hell are those people doing with their time? <laughs> but I think that's awesome. People like that. They, are, they show how awesome Perl is. And you can help CPAN by filing bugs, re request features, improve documentation, especially improve that documentation. Oh, there's so much bad documentation to be improved. It's just low-hanging hanging proof, uh, low-hanging fruit, apple here, cherries there, so easy to do, etc., etc., etc. And of course, publish about stuff that is on CPAN. And please make us to see more ways in which Perl is awesome. There's many more ways than I, I just know. Um, where are your t-shirts and buttons? Have camels and mugs. Uh, stickers, buttons everywhere. Publish, go, and sponsor, and hack at more. I think it means love for Perl, and I want you to spread your love for Perl. Love Perl, and thank you all. And thank you for that White Camel Award. I loved it. Thank you. They asked me not to tell, it, tell you. Ask me later. Okay. So there happens to be a, a, a large supermarket chain in the Netherlands. I, I can't remember that. I think it's Albert Heim, but I don't know if they use Perl or not. She I, the information. I didn't say anything about that. It, it, might, it, might, it might be right. I saved you from that. Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Lovely. Any more questions? No? Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs>